Hey guys, it's uh, May 2nd, 2020. It's been a little while since I've been with you. Uh, man, I run into all those uh, limbs and stuff and I dug up on the bank and it got pretty unsafe. And you know, if you ain't got one go-to friend in your life, you probably need to find one. And uh, I'm pretty lucky because I've got, a, I don't know, two or three pretty selfless friends. But uh, if you look right there, that's a pile of sticks on top of that dirt mound where I shoveled all that dirt. And if you turn around and look where I'm digging, it is totally clean. And you can tell I'm kind of breathing kind of hard and I look pretty sweaty, but <laughs> Brady so graciously, oh, about fell, came over here today and he just got through. And it didn't take us long. You know, it's a lot easier with two people. Uh, we just took our time. He cut and I pulled down and we relocate them. Now, the bad thing is, I'm pretty sure, and of course, me and him looked at it before uh, we started piling sticks up but i'm almost positive i got down to the bottom of the layer now if i if i told you 100 percent sure that there wasn't some stuff lingering out here i'd be lying because more than likely i probably missed something but i feel pretty good uh i at least got most of it right there and, and tell you the truth just given where those sticks are there's not much place we could go with them except right there and uh to throw them back where i'd been digging but <clears throat> brady was out here walking around and you know hey stuff on top of the ground and if you've been watching us a while, you know that I found a good John Paul Jones whiskey a while back, and I dropped the thing and broke it. Now, luckily, a nice man by the name of Ronnie Pruitt gave me a bunch of bottles the other day, and he gave me a half pint John Paul Jones. But you see this one I got in my hands? And you can see George Washington right there, and the sailor with his sword drawn, and the ship right there. Brady was just out there walking, and he said, man, did you just lay this right here? And I said, what you talking about? And he brought this thing up here and he said, dude, this was just laying on top of the ground. And I said, well, it's a good thing you come because cause that one's yours. <laughs> so anyway, Brady's got him a good job, John Paul Jones whiskey. Now something, something pretty cool about that one. That's a one pint. I think that's from the 40s. But some of these things sell for like probably 35 or 40 dollars so anyway this is the least i could offer brady for coming and helping me cut them uh limbs out of the way but look y'all stay with us we're finna he's got a little time his family's actually in a place where um we had dug before picking stuff up off the ground and he's got a little more time he can dig with me so we're finna get in there and do some digging and hopefully we'll find out or find some uh good ackerman bottles and uh Hopefully I'm gonna send Brady home with one. So, oh, and, and and at the end of the video, Brady actually gave me several bottles. One that includes a nice Wright's uh, cola bottle from Greenwood. Probably about a $50 bottle that he so graciously gave me. And that's uh, and that's kind of what we do. You know, if we find stuff and we got duplicates of it, we kind of swap and, and, and give to each other and uh, it just, just makes it fun. So anyway, y'all stay with us and uh, we're gonna start digging and hopefully we'll pull out something good. Well, guys, that's all, all the time I got today. Woo! And listen, Brady, he had to go. Him and his family was going geocaching uh, out on the National Forest. They uh, hadn't been but about five or six miles in the last uh, five weeks where they live. And so he got the whole family out. So, I, man, I'm very appreciative that he came and helped me, though. I was about to give up. He had to go. And I'm still digging right in there. And I mean, there's still hope. I pulled out that old food jar. Pulled out an old cedar furniture polished jar. I just pulled out this quart type Listerine. And listen, there's a ton of broken sodas in there. That one's from, that's an orange crush from Starville. And you can see all the Akron bottles. I pulled out a ton. So, um... It's just, uh, it's crazy. So, I'm not, there's another one right there. I'm not gonna give up on it just yet. <laughs> I've hit a big piece of metal up in there, and, and usually if you have something big in there, it'll cause a void. And uh, maybe some of those bottles got down in that void and are not broken, but I'm not gonna give up on this place just yet. I'm gonna, gonna keep after it. So, I'm gonna come back tomorrow and just see what it holds. But um, Brady brought me several bottles. And like I said, we swapped back and forth. And he gave me a nice uh, Wright's bottle from Greenwood. That's probably worth about $50 anyway. I'm going to show you that thing. And actually, uh, 
a guy by the name of Tim Trogett. He used to be an extension professor uh, in Grenada, and actually Brady got his old job. He, he used to dig uh, back in the 70s. He actually gave uh, Brady four of those things. Brady's got a clear one, a blue one, and two green ones, and he gave me one of the green ones. So kudos to Mr. Trogett for digging that and uh, passing them on down, and I appreciate Brady sharing one of them with me. But anyway, I'll get you a little clip of that one, and uh, y'all stay with us, and we're going to be back digging. And guys, here's that uh, rights bottle I was telling you about um, that Brady gave me. Brady gave it to me, to me, and Mr. Tim Trogett gave it to him. But you can see it says rights, and it says CEW trademark registered, and it says this bottle never sold Greenwood, Mississippi. Now Brady seems to think that um, whenever they were transitioning, when Coke was transitioning to straight sides, they worked out deals with the local bottlers. So the local bottlers just bottled Coca-Cola in these until uh, Coke got their straight side uh, bottles made, and you can tell. That same line stops right short of the crown right there, which means it's probably a uh, teen, probably 1905 to teens. So it's pretty sharp. Oh, and like I said, that's pretty selfish him giving me that because that's about a $50 bottle. And it looks good sitting in my dirty hand right there. But finna finna run by the store and get some crickets. And me and these boys finna tear some fish up. And um, we'll be back with you in the morning. And like I said, I hope we pull out a plethora of Ackerman bottles. So. Y'all stay with us. Guys, it's May the 3rd, uh, 2020, early on a Sunday morning. Who I've been digging for a little while. I have made it to that big piece of metal, and I think it's like part of an A-frame off of a car. And uh, still pulling out a ton of broken ones. I pulled out something I've never seen before. If you can read that, that says Durant, Mississippi, going across the top of that bottle. I don't know whether that was some kind of local straight side or a soda water. I don't see any stars on it, but I'm going to tell you something. That would have been pretty cool to find because, like I said, I've never seen nothing like that. And um, it just gives me hope that there's some, some more whole ones down there. I'm going to keep plugging along, and maybe we'll pop something cool like that out so y'all stay with us. Lord of mercy, I just got extremely lucky. I just raked this out, I hadn't picked it up, and it appears to be intact. It's probably got a ton of wear on it. You can see it laying right there. Let's pick it up. See what it is. All right, that's a soda water. Let's see if it's from Ackerman. Dead nabbit. It's actually from West Point, but hey, we'll take it. And look, that one's still got the top on it, and it's in a lot better shape. And what that other one I had is. And I'm tickled. Whew. Guys, I'm gonna tell you, we've been I've been <clears throat> I've been putting in a lot of work over the last few days. And that's the first intact good thing that I found. So it's totally worth it though when you get in here and look for it. And I see a little bruise right there. Um so anyway, we're gonna take it, and like I said, the top is corroded. And it's still intact, so I won't know what it really looks like till I get it cleaned up. But hey, we found something, so uh, y'all stay with us. Guys, let me show you something that whenever you see, it's not necessarily a bad thing. You remember at the first of the video, I picked that, uh, what I thought was to be a piece of tin, but it was actually that velvet tobacco sign. I pulled it up, I raked up under it, and there was a whole bottle in front of it. Well, I just pulled this bucket out right here. And it was full of dirt and you can see it's, that's that piece of metal i was telling you about a while ago and i don't have a clue what it is but it's in there solid but anyway back to that bucket that bucket was right in this area and when i pulled it out look what popped out and i ain't got a clue what it is it looks like a oh my gosh it appears to be a straight side coca-cola but i don't see any embossing This soda is on the bottom. Guys, let me get this cleaned off. It's going to be pretty old, whatever it is. And I see it says Coca-Cola down at the bottom. Let me get it cleaned, cleaned up and uh, so we can see it, and I'll be back with you. 
guys this doesn't have any embossing like on the main body of the bottle or up here on the neck right around here now that seam line is pretty heavy and it appears to stop right there at my finger but it picks it picks back up right in here so i don't think it was blown in a mold but down at the bottom it says property of coca-cola bottling company and then it says i hope you can see that west point mississippi and then on the bottom it just says soda so i'm not really sure if that's a soda water bottle or uh shoot that might have been a straight side that they started putting uh coke in before they got the scripted bottles made i, I really don't know but nonetheless you talking about tickled man that is an awesome find and look, even though it doesn't have any bossing up in the main part of the bottle, that's pretty cool. Right down, down, right down there at the bottom, it says property of Coca-Cola Bottling Company. Coca-Cola Bottling Company. And then West Point, Mississippi. So, man, that's cool. So, check this out. I have found two West Point bottles fully intact in one day. All right. Well, I got a little while longer to dig. And, and like I said, when you when you see big pieces of metal in, in, in places if you're digging you don't need to freak out because like i said some of the best bottles i found in here have been because of those chunks of metal and they create a void in that uh in that dirt right there so the the bottle you know as stuff was piled on top of it it, it just it just uh it kept it protected so man i'm tickled with those two though i'm telling you i had a i had a rough couple of days which you'll see in the video uh kind of in the middle so to keep digging to get all that stuff out of the way and to keep keep digging and find those two man i'm pretty tickled so y'all stay with us hey i, I hadn't been too long cut the camera off and back in that same spot where i pulled that uh <clears throat> that uh, rusted bucket out of there i got a crown top showing i worked it loose and it appears to be whole and i know it's dark can you see it it's right here let's wiggle it and see what let's pull it out and see what it is it's got a little lip chip on it As a 1915 and it is West Point man it today it's a day of West Points and it's got a little heel bruise right there on the bottom you can see right there West Point Mississippi but man that is in good shape and we're gonna take it back and like I said it's got a little nick right there on the on top but we are going to take it so guys I have found a little protective pocket right in here and uh that's what I'm saying. You just got to, you got to keep searching till you find them. So, y'all stay with us. Well, guys, that's all I got time for this morning. Just to give you a recap, and I'll start with some of those broken ones I found first. Still found a slew of uh, broken Ackerman bottles. There's a part of a uh, soda water. That's what I want to show you. And I'll show this to you one time. And I really want to find that real bad because that's gonna be pretty old. I think the seam line stops on that one if I can see see that good. But that says Duran on it. I didn't show you this a while ago. But that is an old thick bottom of a Columbus, Mississippi Cherro Cola. And I've actually got one like this at the house. That's probably about a 1910 bottle right there. And of course, uh, it's 15. That's probably this 1915 West Point. That's circa 1920s. This uh, soda water, probably like 1920s, early 1930s. And then the one I'm not sure about is this one. And this is an unscripted slick, but it says property of Coca-Cola Bottling Company, West Point, Mississippi, on the bottom of it. But it's unscripted, but it's still still pretty. Got the embossing at the bottom. And um, I'm going to, have to do some calling around to see if I can figure out what this one is. But, uh, man, it has been a great morning. And... Uh, and like I said, you know, Brady and I got all that brush out of the way and we were thinking about, I started digging and I wasn't hitting much glass and got, got discouraged and I was thinking that I had already dug all this out. <clears throat> and I'm going to be honest with you, where I threw all this stuff right here, there's probably some stuff on down the ground right there, but it's real hard to dig because there's a lot of bricks and things of that nature in there. But, you know, whenever they were throwing this stuff in here, you know, I, to me... Common sense would tell me that the oldest stuff is probably on up 
on up this bank right here because that's where they probably chunked it initially and it just rolled rolled back over time but uh anyway i hope y'all enjoy this video and look i started out strong with some fines and i ended strong on some fines i don't want to lose you in the middle but i'm going to add all those clips in the middle just to show you that um you have to put the work in be patient and uh and get out here and look so uh anyway like i said man i i hope y'all enjoy it y'all go like the videos and uh go subscribe to the jones boys